What's up guys, this is Gold Robotics. Today is, I just forgot it, 30th. 30th. I just told him to tell me and then I forgot it right, right after I said that. Okay, the 30th of January. Um, we have been making progress. We haven't done a vlog in a while. And so, it's been a little busy. quick recap as fast as I can. Um, in the past three weeks, we've had uh, three tournaments. Three tournaments. Uh, I think we already recapped the first one, but then the next two we won. Uh, Audi won the Aggieland Classic with Space Chicken. Uh, I was in finals. Reese didn't go to that one because he had a band thing. Yeah. Uh, Clayton had a soccer thing. And then the week after that uh, was a Lamar tournament this past Saturday. And me and Audi won that one together. There was only nine teams. So it was a very small tournament, but it was really good. Uh, thank you to Lamar for putting that one on. Um, anyways. Uh, so, yeah. So that – and then Reese has got – uh, some awards. He's got like judges. judges. I got awards. He got awards at him. I got and I, I got, got four awards. I got design at Aggieland and uh, excellence last week, and that or this past Saturday, and then uh, just stuff. Anyways, actual progress on the bots because uh, it's a little bit hard to make progress when you're going to tournaments every weekend. But we did make some progress. Reese's quick bot in one week build has served him well. Yes, it has. Um... Basically, before last tournament, I worked on consistency with uh, my indexer and worked on coding and stuff like that. Um, and then I found a whole bunch of things wrong. I took off the uh, back ramp, if you don't notice. Also, I added track wheels back down here. Um, and then uh, today, I got really productive and I changed my gear ratio to my roller, to my active roller mech. I made it, um, instead of going from one to three with the sprocket, I made it go to one to three to one to five, which makes it go to about like 43 rotations per minute. Really torqued up, because I was having trouble moving some rollers uh, last week. And I was like, okay, I'm not dealing with that anymore. And then I also was like, I want to add my passive roller in the back. So I added that, making it to where I can guard both rollers uh, very easily while I'm standing in the corner. Like I get a roller like this, and I just move sideways and get that roller. Also, if your intake goes out. And also, uh, our problems is that this one motor is running everything. So if my intake gets jammed, I can't do a roller anymore. So with this pass roller in the back, it allows me to still have that option, so I can still play at least somewhat competitively if I do get a jam. Hopefully, I'm going to fix any of those that might happen, but it's still possible, and so I added that to make sure. And then anything else I worked on? No, I haven't worked on anything else today. Oh, I, I got rid of friction inside my intake itself, so it runs a little bit smoother. So, yeah, Audi's not here today, right now. He was here earlier, but... Um, yeah, he won all three tournaments in the past week. You know, two of them he selected me as his alliance partner and carried me. But uh, <laughs> no, uh, one of them he didn't. But, you know, yeah, we, we got a whole bunch of trophies. That's nice. But uh, his bot is looking really solid. Me and I think uh, we posted the match to YouTube uh, earlier this morning. But we had a, a really high-scoring match together. It was me, me and Audi versus Reese. Really unfortunate that that happened in a schedule. But also very fun because... Uh, you know, I got to play with Audi, and he put 17 discs in. I put four in Auton. I had a really good Auton. That was coded the night before. But, uh, <laughs> you know, the that, it, 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 but it, you know, yeah, the best Autons always are good. Uh, anyways, then uh, then I, I think I put four more in, and then, like, 30 seconds into driver, my – maybe, I think, like – Yeah, like, 30 seconds into my driver, my intake broke. Uh, it had a jam. Uh, yeah, magazine jam. Uh, magazine jam, yeah, because – uh, I haven't really had time to work out the uh, intake stuff. I'm working. That's what actually what I'm working on today or this week on my agenda is getting. There's a couple problems. One, my intake is kind of. It's pushing the limit of expansion. I don't think that it's like expanding past the limit, but it's like right on the edge when it comes up. So I'm kind of changing how I do that. Um, and then also mainly the main reason why I'm changing that is because last tournament, like three matches, I took a hit to the floating intake. And since my intake pivot was on that axle, um, it would, 
uh, jam my intake and my intake's connected to my rollers, intake's connected to my uh, indexer, intake's connected to every, I mean, yeah, intake's connected to anything. So I'm shut down besides defense and string if I get my intake jammed. And so because of that, um, I'm fixing that problem uh, with this new intake style where it opens up in the middle so that I can have a bar in the front to ram because I do play defense a lot with that turret because, you know, I can shoot from far and then play defense. That was kind of the whole point was to, and it also has a six motor drive for defense. Uh, and then let me look at here, any changes. This is what it looks like right now. You probably saw a lot in the video. I also need to work on string. Uh, Explain your idea for your new intake. Yeah, so before this intake roller would move like this, right? Now I want it to move like this, right? It's kind of hard to explain without seeing it. Uh, I built a prototype and then I took it apart so that I could build the final one, but it's in the weird stage where there's nothing on it. Um, <laughs> but uh, then Audi has been doing stuff, really good stuff. That um, doesn't take really, uh, really good working. He's just been dominating at these tournaments. He'll, he'll he put in like 17 discs in one match, and it's like crazy. Uh, and that's like, at that point, he's just overstuffing it. We hit 25 discs in that one goal. That was really fun. Uh, and then, and then he stopped and went rollers. Like it wasn't like he was shooting the whole time. Anyways, uh, I like to bring on Audi, but uh, I think that's about. It, I also noticed if you took, see, I took like my whole battery off on this side and I'm probably gonna move the battery to where this is and then put string launchers right here and then shoot, yeah, put string launchers right here. And I think that's gonna give me enough space to get a good spread because I haven't, my string has been lacking uh, with the since I've been doing the new turret because I didn't have space for string, and so I, and I also didn't have time to build string mix. Mm -hmm. So all of our strings have been lacking. We've been yeah. we've been toying around with new ideas. Yeah, um, and that's about it. I think uh, I think that's the quickest update that we can give. Um, so see y'all next time. Bye. Bye.